Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to host your own custom Compile Explorer instance. So you might know Compile Explorer, which is a really great tool to take a look at the compiler generated code of many programming languages. You can, for example, take a look at the compiler generated assembly of C++ code, or you can also take a look at, for example, like the JVM bytecode of a Java program. It's really useful to get some insights. and. There's one little problem. Um, sometimes I just have like really big and complex programs and they take quite a lot of time to compile. So for example, I have like the CSS code here, which um, generates regex code. And CSS regex is like generating tons of code, as you can see. And if, for example, I change just one flag, um, the system has to compile the whole program again. And it needs to send the program to the to their servers, it needs to compile it, and it also needs to return my assembly. And there is just a simple way to host this whole web page by yourself on your local machine or on your custom server. And it's not only faster, it's also available when you don't have internet. Sometimes when I'm in the city somewhere with my laptop, I don't have constant internet access, and I can still use Compile Explorer when I host it by myself. And in this video, we'll quickly show you how to do that. So, I'm assuming that you're running in a Linux environment. This will also work for Windows, but you will figure it out by yourself because Linux is just the easiest way. And what you need to run this, um, you need to clone the repository. This is the whole source code of this web page. It's fully open source on GitHub, and I will put the link in the description. You need Node.js and NPM to run. So it's written in TypeScript, then you need the Node.js Java and TypeScript runtime. So the first thing, what we will do, we need to clone the repository. So I will copy this link from here and I will open up a new terminal and I will just clone it. So I will say git clone and then I will insert the link which I just copied. You need to have git installed. This also applies to Windows. So you need to clone the repository first. You can also download a zip file and extract it if you don't have git installed, but I recommend using git and also Node.js. So as I said, you need to have Node.js Node installed. Um, how to do that on Windows is just an easy installer. On Linux, um, you need to um, install it using your package manager, which depends on your distribution. So I suggest just Googling installing Node and NPM on my Linux distro. All right, so let's wait for the clone to finish. And if we take a look at the readme here, um, we can see that, assuming you have a compat compatible version of Node installed, on Linux simply running make should get us up and running. So let's try that when it's done. Come on. Almost done here. And you will see, I will do some basic benchmarking and I like the bad thing about this really is that you don't need internet and it's a little bit faster too. So, all right, we have cloned our repository, it's here. So let's enter our directory. And like the readme said, we only need to execute make if we have Node.js and everything installed. So let's try it. All right, so now it needs to execute multiple steps. It needs to fetch all the packages and will compile the whole page. And this might take some time depending on your hardware. So. I will be back to you when it's done. <coughs> All right, so the building and everything is done. Um, if you take a look at the log, you can see unable to resolve um, Yulia, unable to reserve um, OCaml. That's just that I don't have the software packages installed because I don't need them. So. If you need Python, if you need um, Julia or another language, you need to install these packages on your local system. And yeah, after some building, it was done and you can see listening on and we have a localhost page. So let's visit it. And here we go. As you can see, we're in localhost and this is our own custom Compile Explorer instance running on my current system. So let's try to compile this C++ program and see if it's maybe a little bit faster. So another thing to notice before we do that is that you have plenty of compilers here. On your local instance, you would theoretically need to install all of these. I only have like G++ default, which um, is like GCC 12. So it's like the same we used here. But remember that, keep that in mind that if you any compiler, any toolchain you need, you might install it 
uh, by yourself on your local machine or on your server. All right, so I will insert my C++ code over here. And I will also add my flag or one like we did before. And it was already there. I don't know why it went off, but it felt a lot faster. All right, so let's add um, another flag on the remote instance. This is the remote instance right now. So let's add AVX support. Let's see how long this takes to compile. So our local instance is not only available offline, it should also be fast because we don't have like that much networking. And I think they're running the compilation in maybe containers and we also don't have all of that. So, okay, this took quite a some time. Let's take a look at how our local instance performs. And yeah, C++ regexes are really generating quite a lot of code. And it's already done, as you can see, it was a lot faster than the remote instance. and. I'm often having big problem uh, programs here on the left, and I will definitely gain um, a good amount of time by using my own custom local instance. All right, so I hope that this video was useful to you, and I hope you to see that you can easily host your own compiler explorer. And I hope maybe that some of you will even host their own instance. And I hope that I hope that this video was useful for you, and I wish you a beautiful day. Goodbye.